Well, good afternoon. We've uh, just got back from uh, a little trip uh, and uh, the new relay uh, is here. So, got it from uh, DigiKey. Let's uh, open it up and uh, take a quick look at it. And here we go. Pretty much, let me zoom in. Uh, it's an afternoon here, so uh, drink of the day is uh, decaf coffee. Someone helpfully pointed out in one of my previous videos that um, have a little bit uh, too much caffeine uh, going on. Anyway, if we take a look, you can see the the two videos, that, uh, the two videos, the two relays. They uh, look pretty much identical uh, in terms of the. Uh, uh, you know, the makeup of them. Uh, this is the, clearly the blown one, this is the, the new one. Uh, and what we can see, if we look, uh, let me see if I can zoom right in there. Okay, so let's take a, a, a closer look. You can see here on the, the relay, this is what this bifurcated uh, contact was when we were looking at that data sheet. And this is what I think the problem uh, was coming in somewhere before I actually destroyed it. Uh, I could get in, you know, one of these contacts here has, uh, I think it's like a little bit of a sticking to it. So if you see how the, the relay will move, it doesn't take much to keep that relay uh, contact stuck down. And that I think is what was uh, causing the problem. Uh, one of these contacts on, on either side uh, was probably causing that. If we take a look at, uh, at this guy here, let me, you can see that it's the same design and uh, uh, a little bit bigger gap, I think. Let's uh, move this across and let's take a look at, put one, the other one in. And you can see, yeah, that uh, over time, I think the gap has uh, fallen, has gotten closer. Uh, and you can see there's some, you know, with that gap getting closer, that might be just not enough push to break that um, uh, that contact. Anyway, if we zoom back out a little bit, oh, let me zoom out, there we go. You know, we can see that they're identical uh, uh, relay pinouts. And so all of the electrical capabilities should be the same. So what I'm going to go do is stick this back into the uh, 89028 and uh, we'll see how that goes. Okay, so I have the relay, uh, you might be able to see it sitting in there now. So let's uh, see if I can get this over onto its side. And then uh, uh, we'll uh, tack it in. Okay. So let's zoom in a bit. Let me just move this around. And you'll see that uh, I have the unit tacked in. So let's go and get some flux in on these other pins. And now I'll solder uh, that lot in, and then uh, we'll come back and work on the two original. Okay, well, there you can see that we have the relay now resoldered back in. So I'm just going to go clean that uh, flux off. We'll put the, the cover back on, then we'll plug. Uh, the cables back into here, flip it over and uh, give it a try. Okay, so we have the, the relay in, we have the uh, wires connected back up. Let's uh, go for the big reveal. Fingers crossed, does it uh, work? And there we go, the unit is uh, powering up. And I suspect that uh, I'll have uh, no further uh, 
uh, trouble with uh, this now that I've fixed that, uh, that relay. Anyway, I hope you uh, found part two of the successful repair interesting. Uh, if you did, give it a thumbs up. And uh, I'll uh, see you on uh, the next one. Catch you later.